Hey you guys, so if you're new, my name is Liz. Um, I primarily do vlogs, but I like doing these fun videos too. And honestly, like, since I got my central line, like, leading up to getting my central line, I was looking all over YouTube for a video like this and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm really glad that um, I pretty much had the opportunity to do this video for you guys. Now it's a little bit weird because I did have to like ask to take my lines after they remove them. Um, I had to like sterilize them and take them home. So that was a little bit weird but I really like saw the opportunity to do a video of this and went for it. So sorry if this is a little bit weird but I hope this helps somebody out. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I have something uh, called a PIC line, which is stands for Peripherally Inserted Central Catheter. Basically, it's on one of my limbs and um, like into a large vein on one of my limbs, and um, the line is very long and it's threaded, so it's sitting right above my heart. So I've had a PIC line since July, um, and it's the end of March right now. So I had my first one from July to January. The risk um, of having a central catheter, a central line, um, is that you're at a very high risk for blood infections because the infections kind of hold on to the line because um, there's a line constantly in your bloodstream. So I did get sepsis, which is fatal if it's not treated. Um, I got in very, 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 very early. Definitely, um, I'll link the video, watch that vlog. Especially if you have a central line, please watch that vlog. Um, it was the day I got sepsis and I was vlogging during the day. So please watch it. Um, know the signs. <laughs> so yeah, I had to have a new one placed in January, so this is my second pick. And then in between the picks, I had a midline placed. So I'm going to show you guys um, both of the picks, or I'm going to show you my pick, the old pick, and the midline, the old midline. So I can literally roll up my sleeve and show you guys the line. I'm due for a dress and change tomorrow, so that's why it looks a little bit messy. But this is what my pick line looks like. It's clamped off right now, I have nothing attached to it, and I just have the line running down my shirt. But it is in like this all of the time. Um, the actual pick part of it is just this purple piece. This is a stat block, it kind of keeps it in place. Um, and that's just there to, to keep the line from moving, being pulled out. And then this just goes on top to kind of absorb anything coming out of the insertion site. Okay, so I'll show you the pick I had first. And I had this one for, I guess, six months, something like that. Because um, I got it placed July to January, I think that's like six months. So my first pick was a double lumen, which basically means that it's one catheter, but it has two lines running through it, and actually along the entire catheter, it's cut in half. Um, there's like a barrier in between, so that whatever is being put through each lumen isn't getting mixed together, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, I didn't really have a need for both of the lumens. I ended up using them during hospitalizations and stuff like that, but I personally didn't have a, a mandatory need for two. Um, but yeah, this is what it looked like. And then it's measured out by centimeters. I think mine is 20. 27 and a half centimeters. So basically what happens is this is placed right here. This runs up and it literally gets looped and sits right over my heart. So I did get sepsis with this infection. I got a strep infection in my bloodstream, um, but we went so early that we were good. You know, I got it treated. I was in the hospital for two weeks, but um, we got it treated and we removed the line obviously and um, I had it replaced. I do a bag of lactated ringers overnight, every night. Um, lactated ringers is basically saline with electrolytes. Um, so I get that done every night. I um, do all of my own everything with my IV care except the dressing changes. So I do have a nurse that I see every week that comes to my house that will do a dressing change to prevent um, uh, or to lessen the risk for an infection, so my home health company sends me um, a dressing change kit, everything's all here. And it, I am allergic actually to one of the types of alcohols that they use, so I use Betadine. 
Um, so this is like a, a special dressing change kit. And then I have a whole army of syringes. This is just a few, obviously. And I have my own pump tubing. I have my own pump. I do all of this myself. And of course, I have the bags. I have the bags as well. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show what these look like. Um, I think I'll do another video on more of the um, experience of getting these lines. Um, I don't want to include that in this one. I want this one to be more general, so I'm going to include that in a, a video to come. Um, but I'm going to give you guys one last look. So this is the double lumen power pick that I had for French and I wish I could show you, I can try maybe to, so you can see both lumens, that would be really interesting. Okay, so if you look at the single lumen midline up close, obviously it's just one line, there's nothing separating anything since it's only one lumen, but then if you look at my double lumen pick line, hopefully I can get this, you can actually see pretty clearly um, surprisingly that that is a double lumen that there's like a wall separating two separate sides but yeah this is what what it looks like and then at this piece this is where it rests outside the body and this is all that you would see coming out hopefully you're able to see this sorry about my shaky hands chronic illness life no I'm joking um, but yeah this is what everything looked like, and then I just had access here. So, this is my good friend, this helped me for months. <laughs> and then the midline is pretty much the same thing. Except this one was a single lumen. And this one was, I believe I said, 13 inches. And again, I'm sorry for my line um, not being cleaned. Um, this is the line I have now. I'm not hooked up to anything currently. I will when I'm done recording this. Um, but that's the entire line. And it's really hard to show this to you guys. But that's what it looks like. And then really all this purple area, that is just the pick. All the uh, other stuff is um, stuff that we change weekly, so. So yeah, this thing has helped me so much. Um, I'm very grateful for it. I feel like a totally different person from, um, you know, compared to before I was given it. And it's opened up a lot of treatment options for me. It's, it's really helped me out quite a lot. Um, my health has declined a lot recently, and this has really, really, really made things a lot easier. I have more control over my my health um, from having this, which is great. I do have other videos about the pick and the condition I have that causes me to need it, um, so I'll link those, but that's pretty much it. So if you guys are new here, definitely subscribe. I do vlog, um, not all my vlogs are <laughs> strictly medical related stuff. Um, I show a lot of my like normal life too, as normal as it can be. Um, but yeah, I do vlogs every day and um, I just hope that I'm helping people. So definitely subscribe if you can and give it a thumbs up too so I know I should be doing more of these educational little videos, um, little things. So I'd love to continue doing these if this is what you guys want me to do. So definitely let me know and leave me a comment if you have any questions. So thank you guys for watching.